I didn't really have a good drain last night, man. What's it then? Some checks on me. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams are pretty freaky things, eh? They can be, dude, but sure. What do you reckon of that dream, Sam? A lot of our imagination comes from our dreams, eh? We'd probably still be living in caves if no one had dreams. You're probably right about that, too. Everything we have in everyday life today is because of a number of people in the past who dreamed about making things better. Many people thought about the things they want and how to make them real. Sure, it's pretty brainy, eh? It's not that hard. It's just about working your way to a goal you set step by step. Each little step takes you closer to that goal. Right. But it's about working on ideas that other people have had by taking another step through. Everything we've got in the world today has come from all the people who have built up their own ideas. From other ideas other people have had, from others other people have had before them. All the way back through time, eh? It's easy to plan your future just by working on your dreams and hopes. Just work out the steps between where you are now. And where you will be when you achieve your goals. All that starts from your dreams, like from your imagination. And then it's just using your brain and then your motivation to actually make it happen. Well, you draw the plan of your life and the things want to happen. Exactly. Hey guys, check this out for some imagination. Whoa, that's the only way to turn. Check it out. This is in Chicago, our home. It's here because Captain William Cargill had a dream about starting a new town here in Southland, way back in 1850. Hey, that's right, I know this. In 1856, Governor Brown decided to go ahead with the building of the town and called it in for Cargill, after Captain Cargill. And it started growing from there, eventually developing into a thriving city with heaps of potential. And it's been growing and changing all through the years. Because 
people haven't really got together and that should be the job of a mayor. A mayor should be a communicator. He should be able to talk to people. I can't see any reason, for example, why council meetings can't be live on Mercury Television so that the people of Invercargill can watch and actually see how decisions are made and actually see what councillors say. It's really uplifting dynamic city that everyone in New Zealand could look towards and say, in the cargo, wow, that place is happening. We, it is going place, and that's what I'll be fighting for uh, as mayor. Thanks very much. Good luck, son of the spirit. Give us the news, did um, well, I got, um, um, the, I won the mayoralty with 3,805 votes, which is 51.3%. I definitely won, so you can remember. <laughs>
Yeah.